What's up guys and welcome to another Isle of Wild video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about these two lenses. Um, both of them are Nikon lenses. Uh, Nikon South Africa has been kind enough to send me over this lens. Uh, as you guys might have seen, myself and Shanae, we challenged ourselves to a bit of uh, architecture photography. Um, myself shooting with the Nikon Z7 Mark II um, and the 14 to 24 Nikkor Z mount f 2.8 wide angle lens and Shanae was on the f mount 14 to 24 f 2.8 so today I just want to talk to you guys a bit about the difference in these two lenses uh, what you need to know if you are using a Z system will you still be able to use the f mount pretty pretty well or should you just save up the money and get the f uh, the Z mount um, so yeah today Let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, let's start with the Nikon Nikkor AFS 14-24 2.8GED lens. Uh, this is a nano crystal coating lens. Uh, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal lens. You can speak to any, any, any Nikon photographer out there and they will tell you this is a workhorse of note. It's a weather sealed lens. It's got the rubber seal at the back here so you can take this out and it can take quite a hammering outdoors. Uh, as you can see, it is the small, smaller F mount, the oldest old style Nikon mounting that's been well known for many years. Uh, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal, very well built lens. It's, it's a bit heavy, but I suspect it's because of this big dome like uh, front element it's got. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see there, but it is quite a, quite a big dome it's got on there. So it's a, quite a hefty chunk of glass. Uh, so it is, it is on the heavy side, but Premium, premium, premium built. There's nothing about this lens that feels cheap. Uh, it used to never be cheap at all. Um, I could never afford it back then. Um, and uh, this time around, Nikon sent me one to test out. Uh, they actually sent one for Shanae to use. As many of you will know, about a week or so ago, two weeks ago, um, myself and Shanae had a, a camera showdown uh, where she used the Nikon D750 full frame camera with this lens and myself I was using the Z7 II, the one that I'm busy recording on at the moment, uh, paired with the Z mount 14-24 f2.8 lens. Um, but I'll get to this one a bit later. So yeah, we went out to Emperor's Palace, uh, had a blast of a time doing some architectural photography, uh, both of us using wide angles uh, to get our shots, although she also used uh, a Sigma 160 to 600 or 150 to 600, I can't remember the specs now, but she used the long lens to do a bit of photos as well. Um, myself, I just stuck to the 14 to 24, doing all my photos that day. Um, so focusing on this lens, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see there, but it is, it's, it's a well-built, nice, solid, solid structure lens. Uh, Lens hood is not removable. You actually get the, the protector, the lens cap if you want. It just goes over this. Um, it's a bit of a slump. Uh, this thing feels to me like it can fall off at any moment. Uh, although it has got like these little grooves on the inside or lines uh, that's a bit thicker than the rest of the, <coughs> the, rest of the, the cap. So it's supposed to sit on there very snugly and not just come off. But I think with this being a lone unit, it has worked quite a lot. So this thing is going to fall off and you're going to lose this very easily. So I don't like that. As you guys can see there, it sits on the front there. Just remove that and put it aside there. So lens hood is not removable. It's not an option. Um, you've got your focus, your zoom function at the back, 14 all the way to 24. And you've got your focus ring. Uh, also able to see your focus details there on the little display. 
uh, and you can switch between manual auto override or full manual uh, on your focus. And that's about that, guys. It's weather sealed. It's got the nice little rubber seal at the back here, so it sits snugly to your camera, and uh, it does what it needs to do. This this is a machine machine of a lens for any any landscape photographer out there. You will be able to pick these up quite re relatively cheap. I believe for secondhand lenses, um, if you can get one for a good price, you will not be disappointed. So today, I took both of these lenses, I mounted them on the Z system, uh, Z7 II. Um, so this one I adapted using the Nikon FTZ 2 adapter. So this just cl clipped on here and this clipped to my camera and I was able to adapt this lens to the Z system. Um, Took a bit of photos around the garden. I'll show you guys, it will probably come on screen sometime soon. Uh, took a bit of photos of the vehicles, uh, different angles, different, different distances. Um, and I have picked up with this lens. It feels to me like I can get closer and wider to an to a object than with this lens. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm imagining things, but it does feel that way. But the trade-off, with this heavy domed front element as you do get a bit of distortion on the edges, although not that bad. Uh, I have seen worse and wider or more telephoto type lenses. I've seen worse uh, diffraction or yeah, the edges, you lose a bit of, uh, of control on your edges on the photo. So in general, this is a very, very nice lens. If you can get one for a good price, um, I'll say go for it. The, the problem being is filters for these lenses are not cheap. Uh, you have to do the special filters. Uh, for this one, I'm not sure if you can get a filter for this. I believe there should be one. Uh, and then uh, on the new one, let's talk about that one just for a moment quickly. The Z mount, 14 to 24 lens, this thing is a machine. It's an absolute, absolute machine. I can't show you guys any weight now. I don't have a scale, but size-wise, they are pretty close. Uh, even though if I can remove this hood quickly, you can see this one is actually a whole lot smaller than what that one is standard. This is your full lens as is compared to this piece of bulk. That is a lens. So there's a good comparison for you guys. It is, they are roughly the same size. This one just weighs a whole lot less. But I think the main reason for that is you don't have that massively big dome element of glass on your front element. Um, so yeah, you save a lot of weight with that. And also, I think they use a bit more plastic in this lens than in that lens, but it doesn't feel cheap. It still feels like a premium, premium quality lens from Nikon. Uh, obviously, Z mount, you can see the bigger mounting at the back. Uh, you've got your auto manual uh, switch there for focus. You've got a ring at the back for your f-stop uh, or you can uh, There's a little display there where you can uh, when you turn this ring you can adjust certain things there Then you've got your focus ring in the front and your zoom in the middle um, It is really and there's a function button as well a programmable function button You can program that to whatever your heart desires on your Nikon um, so this was my lens go-to for, it stays on my camera for, I would say, 90% of the time. The other 10% other of the time, I'll probably use my 70 to 200 f2.8. But being a landscape photographer, I enjoy shooting wide, enjoy shooting architectural photography, enjoy being out there. This thing is lightweight. Uh, it's also weather sealed. I've got a little rubber seal at the back here. Um, in terms of weight, it's better. The, you don't get that distortion on your on your image on the edges because you don't have that dome front element. Uh, so the distortion handles a lot better on this lens than the old one. Um, but I think, like I said, the trade-off with this, again, is you can't get as close as wide to a subject that what you could have done with the old lens. Um, I think the old 14 to 24 is almost borderline to fish eye. Uh, where you don't get that idea with the new one at all because you don't see the diffraction on your on your images, the distortion. I mean, uh, so there's no no bending of corners. Or it does if you if you really really look into pixel peeping into the images, you'll find a lot of uh, stuff that you are going to look for. But 
for a general photographer out there, you're gonna have a lot more fun with this. If you are shooting a Z system, rather save up the money and buy the Z mount for your Z system. It is amazing. It is really, really amazing lens. Um, this thing has worked a ton. It's been in the rain. My camera's been in the rain. I've been out there shooting thunderstorms and lightning and stars. This is a fantastic lens for astrophotography as well. So yeah, in general, this is quite an all-round lens. Uh, if you should have gotten this one or this one, you will be able to do quite a bit with both of them, any which one that your heart desires. But again, shooting a Z system, I will recommend going for the Z lens. Um, unless you really, really get a good bargain for the F, just make sure you are going to be able to carry this thing because now you've got to adapt this lens on the adapter on your camera. This all adds to weight and put your camera a bit off balance and you know, it, it, it gets a heavy, a heavy system at the end of the day. Uh, if you use adapter plus an old F-mount lens on a Z7, it is a heavy system, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and imagine shooting on a D850 or D780 or 750 even, uh, you are gonna feel walking around with this lens for a whole day. Where with the Z lenses, I can walk around way more comfortable uh, all day long and yeah, just enjoy it, enjoy it. This one comes with a better lens cap as well, the Z system, that clips on there quite neatly. It can only go in a certain way. The lens cap has got uh, these little corners, like uh, it can only sit there one certain way and a proper lens cap like we all used to. That thing won't fall off in a, in a jiffy. So yeah, this is a, a lot better. Chuck it in my camera bag. This thing can go anywhere, everywhere. Um, then also with the Z 14 to 24 lens, you do get a, a filter adapter lens hood, they call it, that goes on here that increases your lens front element size to 112 millimeters. And I believe you can shoot 112 mil uh, filters on that hood that you put on here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one with me at the moment, but uh, it is on here. I'll see if I can post a, a reel or a photo or something about that sometime soon. Um, I still need to get my hands on filters, but uh, yeah, the 112 millimeter filters are ridiculously expensive, so that's not gonna happen very soon. <laughs> I've got a lot of other stuff I first need to sort out and do and wanna get for my filmmaking kit and adventuring, and yeah, I've got a lot of plans coming up, so yeah, stay tuned, guys. But uh, yeah, in general, there you have it. The two lenses, uh, if you want to shoot the F mount, you won't be disappointed, it's still a beast of a lens. Z mount, they took everything that was in here and they just made it better. So end of the day, the Z mount is a lot better. Uh, I believe the picture quality in Z systems are phenomenal. It is, it's way better than you had on the, the F mount. Um, and if you are used to a, a, a proper piece of glass in front of your camera and having that amazing picture quality, just imagine what you're gonna imagine, see with uh, the Z systems. Uh, it really, really is an amazing piece of technology. And uh, they, they've done well, they've done very well. I've, I've, been shooting, I've been shooting Nikon for my whole life and mirrorless, I was, I was afraid to go to mirrorless in, in initially and uh, yeah, I just made the leap, took the leap, uh, went for it and now I'm shooting on the Z7 II and I'm enjoying every moment. Uh, so there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this, uh, please, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. That'll help us tremendously. Um, just even putting everything out there just helps the channel, helps us grow. Uh, so yeah, please consider subscribing and uh, hope you guys enjoy and keep at it. Take your photos, do adventures, get out there, have fun with life. That's what it's all about. Cheers guys.